Who doesn't love the cozy feel of a fireplace in a home? Easily, by following these steps, you can ensure that your fireplace fits perfectly into any design and elevates your project to the next level. Let's begin and add that extra touch of charm to your space. This is going to be a nested family, so first we are going to create a new family in generic model. Since we are going to use these lines as strong references, I'm going to create some other reference planes, one in this part for the width of the fireplace and two in these two parts for the length of it. I'm going to put them exactly in the center with these dimensions, make them equal and create another one for the overall dimension. Also, I'm going to create another one in here and let's set it on like 40 centimeter. For this part, I think we can go with 80. Now let's lock this dimension in here and create an extrusion exactly on these parts. I'm going to use this rectangle and draw it exactly on these reference lines and then make sure that you lock all of these parts. Hit finish and let's go to front view. Okay, this is the base of our fireplace. Depending on your design, you can create it like this or you can delete it at all. I'm going to fix its height in here. So we need another reference plane in this part. I'm going to set it on like 15 centimeter like this. Or even you can go with 10 centimeter if you want. And then I'm going to lock it between these two reference planes with the top one. And also I'm going to lock it with this base reference plane. Also, let me just lock this part so we can make sure it is in its place. Now we need another one for the overall height of the fireplace. I'm going to create another one in this part and then we can set its height with this base reference plane or you can set it with this one. I'm going to set it on 90 centimeter like this. If you want, you can lock it like this one and use this fixed dimension all the time. Or you can turn this part into a parameter and then change it according to your design and according to the size and model that you want. I'm going to turn it into a parameter. So let me click on this part and then let's just move it around. Click on here and then just give it a name. Let's go with height and that's all. Now I'm going to add two more reference plane in these parts so we can keep the fireplace the firebox inside these parts i'm going to put them exactly in the center like we did before and then another one for here just simply select it and create another parameter for it let's go with legs okay now to model the upper part the main body the mantle we are going to use strip. So go to create. First of all, make sure you are in the front view and then go to create and create a strip. Then we need to draw the sketch pass. I'm going to draw it exactly on these lines and then we are going to lock all of these like this. And then I'm going to just simply delete this one and then we can hit finish now if you go to the edit profile to draw your profile you need to go to the left view which is going to be a bit harder to draw the profile so i'm going to just click on this edit pass again and then i will just simply delete this one so now we have our profile on this side if we go to edit profile we can draw it from the ref level and it will be much easier now I'm going to just draw another line in here and then I will lock it with these reference plane. Now if you hit finish and go to edit profile, you will go to floor plan and this way you can easily draw it in here. Now I'm going to create a rectangle exactly on these parts. Let's set this part on 25 and the other side again on the 25 centimeter and now we can just simply do our shape i'm going to delete this part and then let me just move this one to here 
to like 10 centimeter and then we are going to draw it exactly on this part you don't need to follow any rules in here just draw some lines and create the shape that you like and then we're going to fill out some parts so we can have better form okay i think it looks good i'm just going to scale it a little bit much better and then you just need to hit finish let's go to 3d view to see how it looks it looks perfect again as i said you can change all of these parts make it simple or add more details if you want and create the shape that you want i like to keep the base and the top board the shelf simple and then add details to this part i just feel that it will look much better this way let's go to front view and see if these parameters work i'm going to change the height to 1.1 okay and the length to 1.3 perfect now for the top board i'm going to just simply copy this extrusion on its place and then i will move it up to here then i'm going to create another reference plane you don't need to do this this way you can just set its extrusion end on the number that you want but i'm going to do it like this so we don't face any problem later i'm going to set this dimension on like seven or maybe five centimeter let's go with seven and then i'm going to lock it like this then we need to just align these parts with these reference points simply like this and also i'm going to lock them with these reference plane and also this one let's also check it from the left view and move it to here and then lock it again i want to add some small details to this top board i don't want it to be this much simple so first i need to change this ref plane's name i'm going to enter just a for now and then we need to go to ref level i'm going to use a sweep for this part but first i need to set the work plane so i'm going to go to work plane and set it on reference plane a and okay now if i draw the sketch pass on this part and then we need to lock it i don't want this one so i'm going to delete it and now if we hit finish and go to edit profile in the front view we can see that the work plane is exactly on this a reference plane so it will be easier for us to draw the profile i'm going to create very simple shape in here i think seven is too much so i will set it on five centimeter later so i will just create the profile on five centimeter and then now we can hit finish let me also change this part to five centimeter and turn it into a parameter for the thickness of top board let's go to 3d view to see how it looks perfect now for the firebox for the inside of this fireplace we are going to use another method before that make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video until now and also if you like to download some families that i created before in this channel you might need to check the link in description so Let's go to ref level and in here first I'm going to create a reference plane behind this part. Let's set it on 40 centimeter and change its name to simply B. Now let's create a sweep blend. So I'm going to just simply draw its path from this part to here and then lock it with these lines. I'm going to also lock it with this reference plane and hit finish now for the first profile i'm going to click on here and then the edit profile and let's go to the front view and then just simply draw it on these lines i'm not going to lock these because we might need to change it according to the shape that i created for this mantle let's go to 3d view and in here we can align them with these parts and now we can lock them let's go to second profile and then the edit profile in the front view 
I'm going to create it exactly on this part again, but I'm going to use a scale to make it a smaller. So I'm going to create something like this from here because I want it to be exactly on this part. This is good for me, so I'm going to hit finish and finish again. Now if we go to 3D view, we will have something like this, but the problem in here is that the inside of this is empty. So there are two ways to fix this. One is to create another rectangle on the outer side of each profile so we can have the insider part empty. But since this is a sweep blend, we are not allowed to create two loops. So we need to use another method. The other way is to create void sweep blend. This one that you can see in here. I'm not going to create it from scratch. I'm going to just modify this one. We are going to turn this into a void in a few seconds. So I'm going to just simply copy it on itself and then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's go to edit sweep blend and first let's change the sketch pass. We need to go to ref level for this and then I'm going to just simply move it like this and now you can hit finish. Let's go to edit profile number one in the front view. And in here, I'm going to just simply create another offset be two centimeter on the outer side of this rectangle like this. And then I'm going to delete this one. Perfect. And just simply repeat it for the profile number two. Create another offset be two centimeter on the outer side. Okay. And then delete this loop and hit finish. Now, if we go to 3D view, we have two different forms inside each other. I'm going to select the smaller one, as you can see, and then I'm going to turn it into a void. And now you just need to simply cut them like this. And this is the inside of the firebox. Okay, now let's assign parameters for these materials. I'm going to assign parameters for different parts separately for the base let's go with just base another one for this part for the top board i'm going to select these two and create one for both of them and another one for this part you can either create it this way or create only one parameter for all of these materials now i'm going to create a new family in the generic model wall base and then i'm going to just simply load this family to this new family click on here and then select this one since this part is the placement side i'm going to use the space and then put it in here then i'm going to align it with this center line lock it and then we need to align this part, this edge with the edge of the wall. So I'm going to just simply use align and then press tab. So you can see this note in here, make sure that it's wall edge and then click on it. And then simply click on this part and lock it. Now if we go to 3D view, we will have something like this. One more step in here is to make this part empty so we can see the firebox inside the wall. So we need to go to one of the views. We are going to go to the placement side in here and then we are going to go to create and create a void extrusion. You can use a void sweep blend but in here I'm going to just simply use this void extrusion exactly on these parts to here lock it with all of them and then hit finish let's go to left view and move it to this part i'm going to also align it with here so we don't face any problem later and now if we go to 3d view we just need to simply cut it from this wall like this and then here is our fireplace and now we can just simply load it into our project save the family and then load it into your project perfect this is the final result as you can see it is clean and clear it cuts the wall and it is exactly like how we created it you can assign the materials the way you want and also you can change the size of this fireplace and add the detail and designs that you want 
Also, if you need to know how you can add fire, live fire inside your fireplace, you might need to check this video here.